Come here then, lad. There's a doggy coming. Let me get hold of you. If he wants to say hello, he wants to say hello. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Da -da -dee -dee. There you go. Up you pop. There's a good lad. He looked very serious. He had his headphones on. Doesn't want to engage with the world. That's fine. Everyone's different. You know? Some people, they, they've had enough. They just want to close themselves off. But there were two very good doggies. They just ignored each other. Yeah, mum. No barking, no yapping. Perfect. On reflection, watching that footage back, I feel a bit judgy and I feel a bit bad about that, actually. Um, <laughs> watching it back, that guy did everything right. Everything I talk about, he did right. He had a lovely loose lead um, and he kept calm and he carried on. And that's everything I want to see in someone that's walking their dog on lead, walking towards someone that has a dog off lead. Loose lead, keep calm, carry on. What you don't want to do if you're in that situation is stop. As soon as you stop, you're engaging. As far as my dog's concerned, if you stop and say something to me, like, can you put your dog on a lead, please? You're engaging. You don't want to engage, but you're engaging. Keep calm and keep walking. In conclusion on this one is actually the guy wearing the headphones and listening to music or a podcast that allows him to lose his anxiety. Whatever he's anxious about, may not even be my dog may not even be anything to do with dogs he just feels anxiety being outside i get that so wearing the headphones actually probably helps him get into a state where he can just drop all his anxiety which helps him and his dog on their walk if you do not want to engage keep calm and carry on don't engage hello darling Oh, it's solid, it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, what's his name? Rocky. Rocky and Titan. Titan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, he might be a bad breed soon. So. Oh, is he, what is he? Uh... XL, yeah. He? Well, XL type. Right. Yeah, he's not an actual XL. No. It's him, he seems really placid. Oh yeah. A bit of fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's the owner. Yes. Yeah. Um a lot of them want to Backyard breeders. Involved. Backyard breeding. Um they're trophy dogs. Mm. To look hard around the streets, exactly, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I rescued him seven months. Did you? Yeah. So Yeah, he's coming. <laughs> like I say, he has to smell every bit of grass. Yeah, yeah. How old is he then? Uh, 18 months. He's still not fully grown. No. No, he's a good lad. No muscle. Yeah. No, I, I, I rescued him seven months from a flat in Romsey. Right. Skin and bone. Yeah. Flea bit, flea bites all over him. Really? He just, he just looked at me from under the stairs and went, "You my saviour." <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> I don't know what it is with him, he likes the bigger dogs. Yeah. I think he gets more well, the, fun out of them. The little ones are too yappy, yeah. see? He likes the bigger ones because they're more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, well, we're cutting off here. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see you. Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about your legs. <laughs> see you later, Rocky. Yeah. See ya. Come on in. This is a large man we're talking about. He was probably about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, so you can imagine this man is scared of nothing. He's, he's not scared of big dogs, little dogs. He's not scared of me. He's not scared of anything. So if you can imagine, he has no anxiety in his body whatsoever. So that reflects in his dog. 
So you can see the dog owner has no ego whatsoever. And it's just a perfect interaction between our two dogs. We as owners have no ego, therefore our dogs have none. And just to react to a point that he made in the video, that his dog prefers to play with larger dogs. Well, the reason that is, is because it's not that he prefers to play with larger dogs, it's just that you're not scared of larger dogs. So therefore, he's not. I mean, the amount of times that I've spoken to a dog owner and they go, well, my dog doesn't usually like bigger dogs. Well, I'm here to tell you that your dog, the dog does not care if it's a big dog or a little dog. It's what you are feeling. You don't like larger dogs. Larger dogs give you anxiety. Therefore, that feeds down into your dog, so he stays away from larger dogs. You don't like larger dogs. You don't like crowds of people. You don't like it when it's raining. You don't like fireworks. You, d come on guys. You're all out here gaslighting your dogs and then wondering why they, they, they view the world the way they do. Your dogs are viewing the world through the lens that you are providing them. If you like big dogs, your dog will like big dogs. If you don't li like little yappy dogs, your dog won't like them. If you, you know, when it's fireworks night, oh, fireworks, bloody fireworks, oh God. Your dog's not gonna like fireworks. Yep, yeah, some nice off lead walking. What you'll find is most people walk their dogs off lead. It's just a noisy minority of an inept dog owners. E boy. He's a bit grumpy though, lad. Hello. 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 Leave her alone, Rex. Don't be grumpy, boy. Come on. That's it. She was just coming over to say hello. There's no need for that. We're all kind here. She didn't want your ball. She just wanted to say hello. And we're in public. She's allowed to do that. Now, if she come running in your house, that's a different thing. Now, I've included this one because I want to show how to interact with other dogs that are off lead that come running up to you when you have dogs off lead or on lead or whatever, okay? Now, just imagine that the dog has a voice. And this is how he sounds. Hello, can I play with the ball too? Hi, my name's Spot and I want to be your friend. Right, just imagine that, okay? Now, this is not how they're talking. Oi, mate, if you don't give me your wallet, I'm gonna bite you. You know, this isn't your world and we're just living in it. Just get your head out your ass have a bit of respect and learn how to behave in public, okay? Yeah, yeah but be gentle. There you go. You all right? Thank you. What's her name? Hattie. 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 Hetty. Yeah. Hetty. Scottish. Was she um, Scot she's a miniature schnauzer. Oh, yeah. miniature schnauzer. Sorry, I thought she was one of them Scottish no, terriers. No, 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 yeah. With the name Hetty. Yeah, she often gets mixed up. Yeah. For those ones. Miniature schnauzer. Because I, 
usually see grey ones with them, is it? Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. we uh, wanted the black. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, well, I didn't know they come in a number of colours. Because <laughs> yeah. I know the big schnauzers, the normal ones. Yeah. Uh, they're grey, isn't it? Yeah. He's a good girl. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks. See ya. Yeah. Okay, with this one, first of all, perfect, long, loose lead. That's the start. Loosey goosey, a happy dog. Okay, now you can see a little bit of anxiety at the start as, as Kota walks past. You can see Kota's gonna walk past them, but the other dog wants to interact. So Kota quickly turns and she's, I get it, she's very intense. Kota can be very intense. She is um, pfft, very confident. She's an alpha female, okay? This is why all the male dogs in the area, when they smell her, they can't, they can't control themselves because she is such an alpha female, very intense. I'll tell you what I love, and this is the part of this video that I love, was when the guy, he just gently strokes Kota. And that shows his dog that he has no anxiety about Kota and neither should they. The dog looks very nervous, but it's probably young. So in time, and I'm sure with that owner, because he absolutely looks like he knows what he's doing. Long lead, gently touched Kota so that all the anxiety dropped. I'm sure that that dog will have a good life. Now, some owners, their heart rate would go up. Oh God, this dog's really intense. Heart rate up, doesn't engage, backs off, backs off. And that's when the problems start. When you start backing off, if you do not want to engage, don't back off like this. Don't back off. Move forward, keep calm, carry on, forward. Never back off. He didn't back off, he stopped, he wanted to engage. We have a lovely conversation and the two dogs were calm. And as we left, he said, oh, what a great dog. Because Kota is a great dog. And I'm sure that that dog will grow in confidence. The more that owner socializes her environmentalizes her which is why he's got her on a long lead so she can go into the the trees and smell things but he can't quite let her off yet she's young you know, she's a see i'd have to look up on schnauzers but i'm pretty sure they're you know uh not hunting dogs but maybe pest control dogs so they're very wildlife reactive so, you know, you need to get that out of them first before you can let them off that long, loose lead. But they'll get there, and I know that by watching how he, how he dealt with Kota in that situation, and that's how you deal with it. Afternoon. Nice looking, isn't he? She. She. Sorry. She. <laughs> oh, she's lovely. Yeah. Oh, oh keep walking. You got sometimes my dog oh, well. funny. Well... She's got a few boyfriends around here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 See it. Husky Akita. Yeah. Is she a baby? Is she a baby? Free. Yeah. Oh, bless, because Akitas can be quite big, can't they? Yeah, Japanese Akitas. And I don't know what type of husky she is. I think the, not the fluffy one, the, the smaller husky. I think her mum's in a key, uh, dad's a husky. She's not, she's not my dog, she's uh, my brother's. I just walk her. He's lucky, you're lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what's, what's his name? Uh, Harper. Harper, and what is he? Presser Canario. Presser Canario, lovely. Lovely. Yeah, she's, uh, she's normally quite temperamental. I used to be really Oh, is it a she? She, yeah. She, oh, sorry. That's all right. Um, yeah, sorry. No one can tell unless you look. No, no, well, most dogs don't have the balls anyway, so. But um, yeah, she's been really temperamental with other dogs. Definitely, um, nicely. Yeah. Definitely improving. Yeah, yeah, I've got well, it's good. Yeah. Me that she, 
like, yeah, exactly. And I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so no she will pick up. I... She will pick up on your anxieties. Yeah. So, so you I'm relax. Pass, go... Relax. Relax. <laughs> Excellent. You're doing the right thing. I wish more people would walk their dogs off a lead. Come on then. I know. Come on. Thank you. See ya. Now this is the first woman owner in this video. What? What's woman got to do with it? Are you being misogynist? No, I'm not. Um, women in general, out in public, have more to be anxious about than your average man. Um, large groups of people, large groups of teenagers, large men with large dogs. You know, you could be a female out in the middle of nowhere in a field and this large man with a large dog's walking towards you. I can imagine that um, your average woman is gonna feel a lot more anxiety in that situation than I am. So I understand when you have women out with their dogs, they're probably feeling a lot more anxious about everything. So the reason I love this interaction is because she, un she understood that her anxiety wasn't helping her dog. And the fact that she said to me, I had to learn to breathe in and out, in and out, just relax because a dog See, the thing is with dogs, they see the world in a different way than we do. They can smell our anxiety. They can just, they can just feel it. And they're going to react to it because they love you. And they want to protect you. Even if you don't want to be protected. I've seen a number of situations where the owner is anxious about their dog's behaviour. The dog is aware that their owner's anxious. And it's just a vicious circle. So the owner's anxious because of the dog's behaviour. The dog's behaviour is because the owner's anxious. The owner's anxious because the dog's back. And it's just, it's a vicious circle and it has to break somewhere. It has to. It has to break with the owner. Because in this situation, we're the adult and they're the child. Brace yourself. Because this last interaction is the one we all need to see. It's a tough watch. And some of you watching this might think, uh, nah, I, listen, just get your dog on a lead, will you? It, it's not worth it. Now, I'm just gonna leave you with this one and trust the process, watch, and watch how it evolves into a harmonious, really nice interaction. But it's tough at the start, but just give it a chance and I'll explain to you in the video what happened, why it happened, and what you can do about it for it to not to happen, how to be a better dog owner and to not put anxiety, wherever that anxiety comes from, whether it's about the dog, whether it's about something on your life, whether it's about something in the area, whatever you're anxious about, breathe, relax, keep calm, carry on, and stay harmonious with your dog because they deserve it. They deserve better. They deserve a better teacher than what most of these dogs are getting. Yep. Just relax a bit, mate. Come on, go, 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 mate. You have to relax a bit. Yeah. I know. Right, right stop. Right, relax. <laughs> Is that right? Come here. Right. 
<laughs> Is he alright? <laughs> yeah, you alright, mate? You alright? I know you don't mean it. Funny with us sometimes. Yeah, I know you don't mean it. You don't mean it, do you? You just want to get to know each other. That's it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is he? He's a husky mix with a keto. Same. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's really cool. How old's yours? Uh, three. Yeah, so it's here. Yeah. They might even be related. That's yeah, probably why they're having a go at each other. Be, yeah. yeah. That's what it's like with a sister. We see a sister and it's like that, but yeah. you never know if other dogs are going to be right with that. Yeah. I, I, to be honest with you, I don't think that was aggression. No, I don't. That was so, yeah. just figuring it all out. Exactly, it, you know? Yeah. You can see he's all right. Yeah, and you're all right. You're just trying to figure it all out, aren't you? So, you should know how that like, helps. It's just like to any other dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, no, I'm not that person, yeah, honestly. You know how far it can go, do you? Yeah. No, you just have to relax. Yeah. Let's both relax yeah. and let's sort it all out together. So, now look, there you go. You're okay now. Here you are. There's no problems. We're all friends. There you go. You're probably related and you don't know it. Yeah. <laughs> All right then, thank you mate. See ya. See the problem there was because he's probably had problems with other dog owners. Perhaps, I don't know. That he, he was a bit anxious about that situation, which then went down into his dog and and then everyone gets the wrong idea now now Kota's getting the wrong idea the other dog's getting the wrong idea I'm not I know what's going on because I understand dog behavior okay the only reason his dog was pulling forward is because he was pulling back sit down Go on. Yeah. His, his dog was getting mixed signals. He wants to know Kota. He wants to sniff. He wants to smell. He wants to play. But his, his owner is pulling him back. Okay. Now, in the dog's mind, the reason why the owner's pulling him back is because the owner is scared. And, and the owner is saying, come on, let's go. Let's get out of this situation. In the dog's head, that's what's going on. The owner wants to get out of this situation. So then his dog is like, no, 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 I got this. I got this. And then Kota, because he's gone for Kota, Kota didn't like that. So she's like, hey, you don't do that, buddy. I want you to see stuff like that. And I want to show you how to deal with it. First of all, Relax, relax. You're just adding to the tension. Now that, that dog that attacked all those people in Birmingham, right, this is what I imagine. Obviously I don't know, I don't know the ins and outs of it. I can only speculate. But I can speculate with, you know, a good education on the subject. Now, that bulldog, whatever it was, whether it was an XL, whatever, who knows? That bulldog, it was the hottest day of the year. You're in Birmingham, in a busy market. Who knows how long the dog's been out? He's probably hungry, probably thirsty, tired, cranky. And what's happened is, you know, he's gone after that kid. You see it, he goes after that kid. For whatever reason, who knows what went through that dog's mind at the time. I know if I've got sunstroke, my mind isn't working properly, okay? Now, then what happens is, what happens? everyone goes crazy. Now you've got people screaming. Now you've got people shouting. If you watch the video, you can see people smacking the dog with a pole. So you can imagine if I was someone else in that situation back there, and I was like, oh, okay. hey, your dog. Why is your dog trying to bite my dog? Oh, blah, 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 blah. It's miscommunication. It's escalation. Calm down. Relax, and that's exactly what happened up here. And actually, I'm gonna 
explain. So I was walking up here, this is what happened with Kota, and in the, the last two videos I've been talking about this with Kota. In the last video, I should explain what happened actually in real time, because it happened here. See how Kota is in front of me? She's about, what's that about? Uh, I don't know, about 30 foot. There's an opening up the top here, and she sits there and she waits for me, like a good girl. So just up here, where you can see the light, there was a woman with a dog and she, she wouldn't let Kota past. She was like stepping in front of Kota to not let her past. I, I, I just don't know what's going through her head. Like she, she, was, she didn't want a dog to walk past her. It, it's just insane. Yeah, she sits here. Yeah, she's come back to me because she knows this is where we are. So she just wanted to walk up here and sit there. That's where she sits. Down. Down. And that's where she sits and waits for me. But well, anyway, that woman went like past. And then a man, God knows where he was. He was probably here or so in this bush. He's come out of nowhere and just grabs Kota pulls her up. Oh, I, I just don't get it. I don't get people. It's insane. Some people are just insane. They just don't know how to act in public. I don't know if they've always been like that or if it happened to them in 2020. Come here then, girl. You going down? Go put your lead on. <laughs>